Merry Christmas. It's Dr. Karen Liddell of Renewing Your Mind Neurotransformational Counseling and Coaching. And I want to ask you, do you want to stop ruining Christmas? Do you want to stop being a jerk on Christmas? That's something I had to ask myself at one point, and I'm going to put it to you. Because a lot of times we get so caught up in our own plans and things have to happen when we planned them. And if people aren't cooperating, it means they don't love me. They're insensitive. They're so rude. They're such a jerk. And then we might end up blowing up or guilting people or being resentful. And then the entire Christmas is ruined right? So I don't know if you've ever been guilty of this bad habit. I know I have in the past. In fact, I spent some time years ago really being caught up in my plans and my details and getting really upset when other people weren't getting with the program. I mean, some pretty temper tantrum behavior. So what I learned, the Lord spoke to me one time and he revealed to me that number one, it was more important to have relationship than to have rules. And I'm not talking about not setting limits and boundaries for our children. You know, we do need to train them up in the way that they should go. And the Lord says, spare the rod, which doesn't mean necessarily a spanking. A rod was the tool, you know, that curved staff that a shepherd uses to guide the sheep. And keep them out of harm and block away for them and, and move them in a new direction. He didn't use it to beat the sheep. So discipline has to do with teaching. But the Lord spoke to me and he said that my relationship with my children was more important than me enforcing timelines and particular uh, timeline of events, basically. The other thing the Lord reminded me is that my children are learning far more by the example I set than the words I express. So I was basically training my own children to have a fit when they weren't um, having things go their way at the right time in the way that they wanted it. I was basically setting them up to be dissatisfied and, and unable to manage themselves. So thankfully, I believe the Lord brought me to my senses before it was too late. And I'm really proud of my children and their just their kindness. That's one thing that other people mention about them. And um, I don't know if I truly have anything to do with that or not, but I credit them with a wonderful sense of kindness. They teach me. Bible verses that have really helped me, and I pray that they will help you during this holiday season include Proverbs 29, 11. This one really hit me home. A fool gives full vent to their spirit, but a wise person quietly holds it back. And your spirit in this sense means more your soul, meaning you give full vent. Boy, you just let people have it. And another thing, does any of that sound familiar? Well, it did to me at one point. In fact, even this morning, I had an opportunity where I could have behaved like the old man, or I could have behaved like the new creature God has made me. I had made plans for this morning, and I had told everybody more than a month in advance what time um, I'd like them to be here and what I was planning for them, etc. And first, one child overslept and got a late start, and they wouldn't be here for a couple of hours. And I texted back, no problem, sweetie, drive safe. And then um, another child hadn't finished some, some responsibilities, so they needed to spend some time on that this morning. And that was disappointing because I had my charcuterie of breakfast pastry ready, and I had my, you know, just my little deal that I had made for them to show them my love. And uh, another child who was coming, same thing. They both overslept, and they had some things to do, and, and they were going to get there. So the temptation was there to send off a little kind of guilt-inducing text. You know, mama worked really hard on this. You know, it's not that much to ask. And, you know, when, you, when somebody invites you to their home, it's a matter of respect, blah, 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 blah. And I right away realized, yeah, but what kind of tone am I going to set for my kids to be coming to my house? And look, I wasn't even showered yet anyway. So I got the chance to go in and get showered and um, be ready for them when they got here. Not only that, 
I got the chance to just demonstrate grace to them because the Lord Jesus gives me so much grace. I can't even tell you. And what a chance to model that instead of modeling guilt mama or temper tantrum mama, I got to just model what's most important to me is that you could be anywhere today and you're choosing to come spend this day with me and life happens and these pastries are going to be sitting right here on this pretty platter I made when you walk in the door. And guess what? The first son came in and he actually started taking out the trash and just doing some kind things for me. I didn't even ask. And the second son came over and brought his roommate and they brought me a special little latte they had just made. I got served a wonderful latte with a little design on the top and the dishes were done and the trash was taken out. We enjoyed our breakfast and I saved some for my daughter. Anywho, the point being, it could have went another way. And instead, we enjoyed our time together. I got to get pretty for my babies when they come over. And it reminds me of the fact what I tell myself when things aren't going my way and I'm tempted to get a little head bob going on. I remember the plans that God has for me. They're always to help me. And I always, that's Jeremiah 29, 11, but I also love Romans 8, 28. God works all things out for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. So I remember now when it initially looks like things aren't going my way, when I'm stuck behind a slow car, which used to drive me crazy. <laughs> I just remember, you know what? That car might be preventing me from getting in an accident up ahead. I know the Lord is working in this. And even if it is um, something, you know, maybe Satan's trying to get in my way, knock yourself out, dude, because he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. And God will just work that into his plan. Trust me, things really will work out. But if you start having a stomping, hissy fit, it's just going to ruin everybody's day. What's most important is that we're all together. God bless you and have a very wonderful and Merry Christmas.